Hello everyone, it's Connie here from Mengudox and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be diving into some more message events. So, we're going to be looking into message update event as well as the message delete event. Alongside this, we're also going to pretty much extend the message embed class and add our own little function. Uh, this will pretty much get rid of, uh, sorry, not get rid of, it will add the ability to split fields for us. I'll dive more into what that means in a bit. So without further ado, let's go into the source. We'll go into the structures and we'll start off by making a new file. This file will obviously be the menu docs or embed here.js. And at the start of this, what we're going to do is we're going to require message embed from the discord.js module here. So if we do require and we will require the discord.js package in our semicolon. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick const and we're going to do const s uh, z w s and this is to pretty much just get rid of the potential duplicate of this later down in the code, which is u 2 0 0 b and then what we're going to do here, quickly go to the end of the line and add our semicolon yet again. We're going to do module dot exports equals and we're just going to do class menu docs embed extends and we're going to obviously extend the message embed and this is where we make our function so we're going to do split fields and we're going to have a parameter or two here so we're going to, the first parameter is going to be the content or title and then we're going to have raw content after this Next in line, what we're going to do is going to have a quick conditions check and we're going to check the type of the content here and it's going to check if it's equal to undefined. Oh, that's right. We got to do our little return here. So I might have accidentally just done a little issue here. So I think I had it spelled wrong. So it has to be type of, right? So we're checking the type of um, content or title and we're checking if it's undefined. And then if not, oh, sorry, if so, we're going to return this. Now, what is next? What we're going to do is we're going to go down two lines. We're going to do let title and we're not going to assign it to anything. And then we're going to do let content and also not assign it to anything. Next, what we're going to do is check a type of yet again. And we're going to check the type of the raw content. And if it is equal to undefined, we're going to do a little something here. And that little something consists of doing the title equals W... Um, uh, was it ZWS and then it's going to do content equals uh, content uh, or title now I'm going to have a little semi here as well what we're going to do is then do else and we're going to have else and do title equals uh, content of and then what's next we're going to do content equals raw content now we're pretty much just assigning like stuff here so that we can then return it later down um, so just bear with me. So next in line, what we've got is we've got an array check. So if array is array, we're going to have the content in here. Now we're going to do content equals content dot join. And we're going to join this with a new line here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do title equals, um, if title equals uh, ZWS. I, I'm getting really like stumped with that. <laughs> ZWS. Uh, this dot description uh, and content dot length is greater than uh, 2048. So this is where we're checking if it, it's greater than the uh, minimum, the maximum amount of characters you can have in a field value. Then we're going to do this dot description equals content. And then we're just going to simply return this at the end. Next in line, what we're going to do is we're going to do let x equal. We're going to do let slice. And then what we'll actually do here is was it, we'll, go to, we'll go to the next line. We'll do while content.length. And then outside of here, we're going to quickly just do a quick... Uh, conditions check so we're going to do if content dot length is greater than the the, the title of an embed uh, maximum then we're going to obviously do a little something here and that little something consists of this dot fields um dot push and then we're going to have an object in here we're going to do 
uh, we're gonna do name and then the name's gonna be the title then we're gonna have the value and the value will be the content and then in line will be false now then we will do return this so we've got a couple conditions checks which will then return so basically if this is undefined uh if this type is undefined then it will return this this being the message embed then if we go on down a little bit what we'll do here is um pretty much if the content length is longer than uh this number here then it will you know obviously so if this is true if this is true and this is true uh, then we'll go inside here of the if statement and it will pretty much run this code here Then it will return this this being the message embed yet again um, Pretty much here down here if this is true, then we'll go in here It will do its little bob here with the uh, pushing because fields are an array um, So it will push the named uh, value and then the inline value and then it will return this and then we've got a couple things just down below here that we need to sort so we'll do slice equals content dot slice and then we'll do zero one zero uh two four next line will be x equals slice dot last index of and then we'll do i think it's just a new line here yet again and then we'll do a couple conditions checks here so x equals uh negative one then what we'll do is x equals slice last index of and then so and this should not be a function this should be just like so and then we can pretty pretty much do the same thing here so we'll do x equals and if it's a positive one oh no sorry is if it's also a negative one what we're gonna do is x equals so so this is too short up here. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a disable here. So we're just going to disable this line. Uh, so this this right here is too short of a val uh, variable name. So it's going to like pump out an issue with, uh, I think it's ESLint. Yeah, so it's ESLint. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly disable it with a comment there, which should short that sort that out. I'm going to go down two lines. We're going to do this.fields. If I can spell fields right, this dot fields dot uh, push, and we're gonna have an object in here yet again. We're gonna do name, title, value, and then that's gonna be content dot trim. Trim being a function here, and then we're gonna slice as well. It's gonna be zero. I can get zero in there, and then we're gonna do x followed by inline, and that will be false yet again. So what's next? So we're going to do content equals content dot slice. And then that's going to be X plus one. And then finally, we're going to do title equals uh, Z W S. Voila. And then we're going to go outside of here and just return this. So this is where we quickly do all the quick fixes. So fix all fixable issues. And then this is pretty much the uh, embed here. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go out of the structures. We're going to go into events. We're going to go into message here. I'm going to create message delete.js. And we're going to create message update.js. I do need to mention something. Uh, I think it was in, no, it wasn't in events. It was in the utils folder where we made our event handler. I believe we're about, I think it was... It was somewhere in here. I put it to lowercase. So it would have been would have been here. Name to lowercase. You need to go and remove that because otherwise these events won't work. And I stupidly uh, did that on the spot and it's going to cause issues. So please remove it from here. Um, it was at line 73 here. So it will be to to lowercase. It will be like this. So what you want to do is just quickly remove that part and then you should be fine and dandy to be able to work with these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do const event, which will then require the event base class here. We're gonna do dot dot, dot dot, and then we should be able to go into structures, and then the next one will be event. So that will require the base event class that we need. Then what we're gonna do here as well is we're gonna do const menu docs embed, 
equals require. And we're also going to require something from struts again. And that's going to be the menu docs embed here. So we're going to go down two lines and do our usual stuff, which is our module exports equals. And then we're going to do class extends uh, event. Obviously opening up a object here, I'm going to do async run. And we're going to, the only parameter we need to pass is message. So we're going to have a quick check here to check if this is not in a guild or the author is a bot because we don't really want to log that information. And if so, what we'll do is we'll just quickly return. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do const attachments. So this is going to check if the message has attachments. And if so, so this is a ternary operator. So if so, what we're going to do is message dot attachments dot attachments dot map. And then we're going to map attachment. And that's going to be the variable that we pass. And then we're going to do proxy URL. And if not, what we're going to do, if it's null, we're just going to return null simply. So this is, this is the, so if we do have a size, it will come here because this is the true part. And then this is the false part. And if it's false, it will return null, which will later down the line serve us when we have possibly another ternary operator. So next, what we're going to do is const embed equals menu docs embed. Uh, sorry, we're going to do new menu docs embed. And now what's in line is we're going to do set color. Now we can use obviously the normal message embed stuff or methods because we're just simply extending message embed, not replacing any of the valid uh, methods or overall not overriding it. So we're going to do blue here and then we're going to do set author and that author will be message.author.tag and then we'll do this dot client dot user display avatar url and then inside here we're going to have dynamic and we're going to set that to true next in line we're going to do set title and this will set the title of the embed and we'll set it to message deleted next in line what we're doing is getting to the actual filler of this embed which is the description and now this description is going to do what our uh other descriptions do this we're going to have a simple array here and then we're going to have the elements inside so what we're going to do is i'm going to quickly grab this from off screen which is this beautiful arrow here i'm going to do message id and then we're simply going to have the id after here do message dot id and then we're going to have the next element and we're going to need to probably copy this a little bit more here i'm going to do channel I'll make sure to leave the arrow down in the description of the video for you guys. Uh, then what we're going to do is obviously message.channel. Next, what we shall do is obviously remember the uh, comma there. And then we're going to do author. After this, we're going to do name. So this display name can be... Uh, whatever is shown in the discord. So if they have a nickname, it will show that which is really good Keep us on board and on track Next in line what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the final attachment park to check if they have attachments So if they have attachments, what we'll do is we'll simply provide the attachments. So attachments and then we'll do attachments dot join and we're gonna join them by new line and if not we're just going to leave it blank, which is wonderful here. Uh, no, this needs to go. So this needs to go. Yeah, that needs to go there. I need to get rid of this one. I'm going to do if message dot content dot length. So basically, if there is a length, um, what we're going to do is embed dot split fields. And we're going to quickly make a string obviously and then oh, I'm gonna grab this guy again I'm gonna do deleted message and then we're going to simply do message dot content here finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna do let or well, const channel equal uh, message message dot 
guild.channels.cache.find. I'm going to do ch, ch name, and then equals testing. And then if we have a channel, if channel, so if it exists, we will simply do channel.send and we will send the embed. Look at that. So that is that done. And then we'll quickly get rid of all these fixable issues here. Well, not issues. And that should fix all our indenting. So that is that done. Next on the list is our message update. So we're going to simply start off by doing const event requiring our base in uh, our base event class. So we're going to do dot 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 struts and then we will do event. Next we'll do is obviously get our menu docs embed in here. I'm going to do dot 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 struts and then our embed. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do const. We're going to add some curly braces here, opening up an object. We're going to do util. And then we're going to do escape markdown. So this is from the discord.js package here. Equals require. And we're going to require the discord.js package. Next is const. And we're going to have an object yet again. We're going to do some object deconstruction. Diff words with space and then we're going to require the diff package let's double check if we've got the package so we do have the package right here if not just remember to just to install it something as simple as yarn add diff um, or also npm i diff so we're we'll going back into here so that's the four things we need i'm going to start off by doing our basics of the uh, class again, so we're going to do class extends and then event. I'm going to go in here and we'll do async run. Then we'll simply pass in old and that will be the old message. And then we'll do new message as just a message. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to check if this message is not in a guild or old.content equals message.content um, or the message dot author is a bot and if so what we will do is we will return next in line we're going to do const embed and we're going to do a new menu docs embed here following that we will set the color and we will set the color to blue our favorite color obviously you can set this to any color you wish set author and then we're going to do old author tag and then this dot client dot user display avatar URL and then this is a method and inside this we can pro provide some options and for instance we are going to do true or dynamic following this we'll do set title and we will set this title to message updated following this what we'll do is we'll do set description and inside here we're going to have an array and then we're just going to simply go to this message delete uh, command and we will grab the arrow we need. So we're going to start this off by doing message ID and then we'll do old dot ID. Next in line, what we'll do, do another one and this will be channel and then we'll simply get the channel we need from here. Channel, uh, sorry, sorry, it should be old dot channel. Following this, we'll do the author. Simply do that and we'll do author and then that will be old dot author dot tag and inside the brackets here we will do old dot author dot id and that will be that just for our um our description here next what we'll do is we'll set the url which will then lead us to our message because this isn't a deleted message so we can uh, technically surf to it so you know the message links that we have in discord if we were to click on it it will take us to the message that is simply what that will do next what we'll do is we'll do split fields and this will be diff word space and do escape markdown and then inside here we'll have old dot content outside of this what we'll do is we'll have escape markdown yet again and we'll do message dot content don't know why there's a third bracket here so let's just quickly remove that bad boy 
Next, what we'll do is we're going to simply map and we're going to do result arrow function result dot added question mark. So we're going to have a ternary operator. We're going to do um, result dot value adding um, basically a bolding here. I'm going to do result um, dot removed. And then we're going to have another ternary operator. So you can nest ternary operators, guys. Don't forget that. And then we'll have these guys because we'll be crossing out the old value here. So the old message. And then outside of here, we'll have result.value. Following this, what we'll do is we'll simply join. So we're going to join. And we're just going to join with an empty space. Adding our final bracket here. Following this, what we'll do is we can actually just travel back over here and we can grab this little snippet here, which will find the channel and then send to the channel if it exists. What we'll do is we'll quickly do the quick fixes here. We can get to them. Do all audible, uh, accessible ones. And then that should be that, guys. What we'll do is we'll just quickly jump over into Discord and test this bad boy out. So as you can see, four events were loaded. So we're currently in the recording channel. What we'll do is we'll just quickly say hello. And what we can do to this hello is we can uh, just edit it and it should send a embed right here. And Duncan's just um, deleted my thing, this son of a gun. So we're gonna do hello. And then what we'll do actually is we can just quickly see if we can spam it a little bit because we want to spam it a little bit so that we can um, go into multiple fields here. So just, oh, hit the character limit. So we'll just quickly remove some. And then as you see, we've got um, the message updated and it's added a separate field here. And then we've got deleted message here, as you can see. Anyways, guys, this has been Connie here from Mangudox. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.